For a long time, beavers are famous for their intelligence, ingenuity, and diligence. And, even though, at first glance, he looks quite an ordinary animal, familiar from childhood the beaver is not as simple as it may seem. This is a rather stumpy animal. Its limbs are a bit shorter, each of them has five toes, and the hind legs, which bear the main load when swimming, are more developed than the front ones. This animal has membranes between its toes, which are also better developed on the hind limbs. One of the characteristic features of the beaver, by which it can be unmistakably recognized, is its flattened and rather wide tail in the form of an oar. The beaver, despite the popular opinion that he uses his tail as a construction paddle, uses it only as a rudder when swimming and diving underwater. Its eyes are small, and its broad and shortened ears are barely visible, as they are almost completely hidden under the thick and dense beaver fur. At the same time, the ear holes, as well as the nostrils of these animals have one remarkable feature, they close underwater. The teeth of these rodents are also adapted to a semi-aquatic lifestyle. The incisors are separated from the mouth cavity by special growths on the lips, which allows the beaver to gnaw even underwater. The beaver feels most confident in the water. There he swims and dives deftly, while on land he looks a bit clumsy beast. These animals are not active during the day. Their labor activity starts at dusk and, depending on the time of the year and weather conditions, lasts till 4 to 6 a.m. in autumn. When forage harvesting takes place, beavers may work until noon. In winter, beavers change their daily routine and turn into day living animals for a while. But if the air temperature drops below 20 degrees, they do not leave their habitat. Beavers prefer to live in families, a male, a female, and their offspring for the last two years, only five to eight individuals. Often these animals, starving for a certain area, passing it down to the next generations. If a pond is small, only one family of beavers settles there, or one animal that hasn't found a pair yet. On large reservoirs, a beaver family's territory may extend up to 2.9 kilometers. Beavers try to stay close to the water and, if they go on dry land, they very rarely go further than 200 meters from the reservoir. Sometimes rodents destroy the roof of their burrows, and in its place make planking of branches, thus constructing a transitional structure, which is called a half-hut. If for some reason it is impossible to dig a burrow, for example, if the river bank is too gentle, beavers build huts, which are cone-shaped piles of brushwood bound with silt or earth, the walls of which are coated with animal silt and clay for strength, so that the structure is like an impregnable fortress. Beavers are very neat and clean animals. They never litter their burrows and huts with the remains of food or other wastes of their vital activity. If the level of a body of water begins to change downward or is initially low, beaver families build dams, also called dams, which raise and maintain the water level so that it does not fall below the entrances to their holes.